What Men Want. This is the spinoff movie of What Women Want. It is in no way, shape, or form a sequel to What Women Want. There's no references to that movie at all. So, uh, with that said, Sam, you're just ready to give our rating for What Men Want? Yes. All right. What Men Want. Three, two, one. See Wait it. for it. What? I thought it was so fun. It is a fun film. It's perfectly fine. It is a good movie. I had a lot of fun with this. It just didn't blow me away. But, you know, we can get into it. So, let's talk about it. Would you like to start off with the things that you liked? You just talk about uh, all the things that... I liked? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll start. I think overall, it was just really fun to watch. Like, it was just goofy. It didn't take itself too seriously. Shiraja did a really good job of just being hilarious. And she had a lot of growth in the film. I know you talk a lot about that. I just think that her growth from the beginning to the end was really well done. And it wasn't... It was empowering as because she had the mindset of like, I'm a woman, I can do this. And so that was empowering. And then at the end, you kind of get all of these shifts where she really had a lot of growth from the beginning to the end. I just thought it was really funny and enjoyable. Like, I don't think there was a moment in the movie that I was bored or I didn't think it was funny or overdoing it. I thought it was quite fantastic. I agree with a lot of your points. I had, I did have a lot of fun with this movie. It is when it's at its best, it is really, really funny. Uh, Taraji P. Henson is fantastic in it, as you said. All the actors are really good. Her character growth is fantastic. Uh, the movie starts out, you know, you really just don't like the kind of person that she is. And then she turns into a very likable person by the end. So she has this character arc, like you said, that comes full circle for her, which is really nice. Uh, the sex scenes in this film were hysterical. Those are probably the best part parts. In fact, my favorite scene it's the the sex scene stuff when he's re- when, when she's she was like beating the crap out of him. <laughs> yeah, she's like, why why are her cl- eyes closed? Am I that ugly? And she opens her eyes. Oh damn, her eyes are open. She looked crazy as hell. <laughs> that stuff was really good. Uh, like I said, all the uh, acting was quite fantastic. Uh, I don't think there was a single character in this that I didn't like. May- Tracy Morgan might grate on me a little bit. Is that I'm not a big fan of Tracy Morgan's brand of comedy, but it's good to see him back. I know he went through some medical stuff, and he is actually uh, pretty much back to form in this, if you're a fan of Tracy Morgan. It's, it's essentially Tracy Morgan. Yeah, I don't remember seeing him in a whole lot of stuff, but I didn't mind him. I, I thought he was fine. Yeah, he was I, the dad. Uh, I thought the kid was fine. Yeah, so the actual driving force of this film is that Taraji P. Henson's a sports agent and she wants to sign what's going to be the number one draft pick of the NBA and his dad is like an overbearing is like his manager and it's a play on the LeVar Ball Lonzo Ball relationship that's uh in the NBA right now it's a play on that relationship and they have a they have a lot of fun with that relationship the father-son relationship with the father being overbearing and always being in the media uh now with that said the things that I did have, or at least not, I didn't have, I didn't have that much of a problem with uh, anything in this film. Uh, the things that kind of surprised me and took me out of it a little bit is that this film was far raunchier than I thought it was going to be. That's that's what I liked. I thought it was so funny because of that. The thing that kind of left me a little perplexed with this is that I felt like the movie lacked a. It almost felt very masculine coming from a female perspective that's kind no, of that's kind of the point i mean she's seeing these I other know. men's perspective and she's hearing them and she's kind of like internalizing them and trying to make it so that she's relating to all of these men like isn't that kind of the point yeah but it's like all the uh the sex jokes and all that it was almost seemed like a little excessive at oh, times come on girls make sex shows all the time so it just felt like some of those jokes were coming from a male hand and I want—I guess I going into this, I wanted something a little bit more feminine. I know that sounds weird coming from a guy, but like you can talk about girls trip. Girls trip is comedy is super funny, but it comes from a feminine perspective. I felt like you know, I'm pretty sure that what women want it comes from a male perspective, and it's very feminine movie. No, that's all women. I mean, that's directed by a female. I no, I know that's what I'm saying. Is that like what women want from the perspective of a man hearing women's thought? That movie was very feminist. Like a feminist movie. But it was made by a female. You could I watching that you can tell that it was a girl director. Okay, behind the was lens. it not a girl director? No. But and I, I don't could think tell it's supposed, watching it. 
But I don't think it was necessarily supposed to needing to be. No, I don't agree with this. But it didn't make me hate the film. I'm just saying that's just something that for me that when I can, when I'm ingesting a style and a tone from a film, I can kind of tell that kind of stuff. And sometimes they hit. I felt like they're hitting it right on the head. They were really good about their comedy. And sometimes I was like, oh, maybe a little much. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't think women are gonna have as much of a problem with that as you think. No, I don't think so. And I, I think that's just me just paying attention to some of the style and tone. Sometimes it's a little. Uh, okay. I mean, I understand. I understand. I see where you're coming from. But again, it's not something that I hated about the film. It's just something that I noticed that took me out of it a little bit. Mm. Uh. I would say it's mostly in the first half of the film. The second half kind of eases up and gets a little bit more sweet. The mm-hmm. first half is where a lot of the raunchy stuff is at. The build up to the ending is a little bit crazy. That, that's my only real sort of like issue with it. Uh, the film itself is a lot of fun. Uh, all the actors are great. So, I mean, that's it for me. That's it for me. That's it for you? All right. Yeah. So that's it for us. Uh, We are doing Cold Pursuit next. Uh, We'll also have a review for How to Train Your Dragon 3 coming in the following weeks. I know that doesn't open until February 22nd, but we caught an early screen into that. Mm -hmm. So look out for that. And if you liked this video, uh, like and subscribe. And we will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.